Imagine Earth over two billion years ago. No trees, no dinosaurs, just a rocky planet with oceans and microscopic life clinging to survival. Welcome to the Proterozoic Eon, where the planet slowly learned how to breathe. Around 2.4 billion years ago, tiny organisms called cyanobacteria started photosynthesizing, spitting out oxygen like it was going out of style. This kicked off the Great Oxidation Event, which transformed Earth's toxic atmosphere into something closer to what we breathe today. Not a quick process though, we're talking hundreds of millions of years. With oxygen in the mix, life started leveling up. Simple single-celled organisms evolved into eukaryotes, cells with a nucleus. This might sound boring, but it's basically the origin story of all complex life, including you and me. Meanwhile, continents were on the move. Land masses slammed together to form ancient supercontinents like Rodinia. These giant land blobs would later split and crash together again in a never-ending tectonic dance. Oh, and Earth decided to go through some serious mood swings. During the Proterozoic, we had some of the worst ice ages in history. Imagine the entire planet frozen over. Scientists call it Snowball Earth. Sounds cozy, right? But the real magic happened near the end of the Proterozoic. Multicellular life showed up. Weird, soft-bodied creatures began drifting through oceans. No bones, no shells, just strange forms like something out of a sci-fi movie. These were the Ediacaran organisms, and they were the warm-up act for the explosion of life that came next in the Cambrian period. So yeah, the Proterozoic wasn't flashy, but it was epic. It gave us oxygen, complex cells, continents, and the first hint of animal life. Without it, life as we know it wouldn't exist. 